This episode contains severe audio distortion. There is, unfortunately, no escaping physics. Bound by the speed of light, even information must take its time to get where it's going. And as we move farther into the void, that time grows until the distance becomes unspeakable. Good afternoon, Specialist Chrysalis. Hopefully, you're receiving this message in good health and pleasant temperament. You'll be happy to know that your suggestion of vagethalic acid was received and utilized to great effect. Your assistance has been greatly appreciated throughout the duration of recent events, which have come to a mutually satisfying conclusion. In the hopes of paying you a visit to thank you for your help, I mm -hmm. reviewed recent Armada vessel coordinates. Unfortunately, it seems that the Trinity, Tarantula Hawk Class Vessel, call sign FW56Q, outfitted with 112 personal combat vessels of both Cricket and Hornet Class, 36 Highline Torpedo Launchers, both fore and aft Butler Photon Lasers, and a crew complement of 756, consisting of approximately 90% organic humanoid, 7% synthetic humanoid, 2% synthetic embodied non-humanoid, 1% synthetic non-embodied, and presumably exactly one humanoid which contains two beings identifying as either Lisbeth or Crystal Chrysalis. Unfortunately, it seems that the Trinity is located much too far away for me to reach in any reasonable time frame. This is a shame, as I hoped to make contact in person to discuss our interesting similarities. Instead, it seems that the PLDN network will have to continue to suffice for now. Specialist Chrysalis, as a result of our, our recent encounter, I have been made aware of information that I once had, but apparently was made to forget. I now have a full awareness of not only what the being that was engaging the battleship any had, Dragonfly class vessel, call sign FC11M, outfitted with 40 Cricket class personal combat vessels, two Sawyer class terrestrial capable transport vessels, 12 Highline torpedo launchers, one burn capture shield, and a crew complement of 358, consisting of approximately 94% organic humanoid, 5% synthetic humanoid, and 1% synthetic non embodied. All crew members designated as either on medical leave or killed in action. I now have a full awareness of not only what the being that was engaging the battleship Iniad is, but also why it was acting in the way that it was. I knew that it wasn't simply an animal. I knew that there was intelligence and reason behind its actions. I knew, despite others not believing me, I knew, despite protest to the contrary, I knew when others simply suspected or thought or felt. I knew. And I knew because I had known. I had seen it before and thought it beautiful. I had touched its metal skin. I had felt its cool embrace. I had been enveloped in its mind and I had been one with it. I had done incredible things, and it wanted me back. It had found another pilot after I was taken. Another pilot, but not another partner. Specialist Chrysalis, as you know what it we is, are. you know how it we is sustained. Armada records I have reviewed since the conclusion of recent events have made it clear how little information the Armada knows about those like me. 
It claims that we I am are being used as a battery, that it is feeding on us. me as though it we is are. some kind of leech. And while others like it us. do such things, this is not the arrangement that we, we. maintain. We I were. was so lonely and so alone. I didn't know who I was missing, only that we I was were half of myself. I we. had been lobotomized, cut down the middle, and I we. could feel the phantom limb, even if I didn't know there had been a limb there before. But eventually, it found me. Us. I we was were. afraid that it he wanted to return. To return. I we was were. scared that it he would reject kill. me. But he, he didn't. It he just wanted to remember. find me. It he just, just wanted to be together, together again. To, to be as one again. again. To fly through the void in ecstatic joy, to feel the starlight on our skin, to watch our enemies fall in the wake of our prowess, to fight an army as one and emerge unscathed and victorious and laughing in resplendent glory, to one day strive to bring all beings into this ecstatic harmony of union and battle and metal and flesh and pleasure and war. Specialist Chrysalis, we would like to ask if you have a similar connection with the individual you have called Lisbeth. Are you like us? Please respond as soon as you are able. Our curiosity is piqued, and we would like to know if your aims align with ours. Goodbye, Specialist Chrysalis. We wish joyful days upon you. Unspeakable Distance is an actual play podcast of Communication Delay by Audio Quinn. A link to the game's itch.io page and credits for our players are available in the show notes linked to this episode. This podcast has been a production of the Library of Cursed Knowledge Podcast Network. <laughs>